Well, hello folks, welcome to episode 8 of our fifth season here at Riga FC. I'm the Custard Prophet and this is the Latvian job. Now, last time out we lost rather rudely in the in our first ever go in the Champions League proper. Uh, we're coming back for and having another go on camera. We're going to be playing Porto. It doesn't get any easier, does it? Yep. So we are going to be back for a game against Porto. Ignore the, the result that you're seeing on the right. If you don't look at it, it's not happened. Yeah, that's that's what we're saying. Yeah. So let's uh, have a quick snooze through what the, the results that have and maybe some that, that have, haven't happened in the last few games since we were last together against um, Leverkusen. Now, if you remember the game against, away against Leverkusen, I felt... I felt we started poorly and finished strongly. We had a good few chances. I'd be interested to see what you guys made of that. Um, we followed that up with a 2-1 win away against Spartax. Look how late we left this. Erglis and Leo scoring in the last couple of minutes. Not sure what went on there. We weren't particularly good at the start. We didn't recreate much, but then we started to create stuff, but it wasn't going in. A little disappointing with the the manner of the performance but very happy with the result Valneria in the cup they were dispatched 2-0 Krolis and Samoliev that was pleasing and then Dynamo Riga we beat them 4-0 Uldrikis with a hat trick he scored a header as well Leo getting the other goal we then played Inter at home this was not a bad performance decent crowd there um, they won 3-0 it's not like we didn't get any chances at all they certainly deserve to win but I was I was fairly happy with how we went up against Inter. I think they're probably the best team in the group, so I'm hoping maybe we can do a bit better against Porto. Then away against Alda, we uh, well we conceded an early penalty, which was a little disappointing. Victor Hugo got himself sent off, but we got goals from Erglis, Pantalev, uh, Guliev, and Umbengue got on the score sheet right at the very end of the game. So I was happy with that. We were running into the game against RFS in the cup semi-final all happy we we looked like there was going to be no issues and then this happened look took the lead Leo scored uh, and then they scored from the penalty spot which was disappointing it was a dodgy penalty took them to extra time and a late late goal from Friday <sighs> oh my that was disappointing so we didn't even make the final to be honest, they had nine shots in the match. We had 34. So it's not like we didn't have chances. It's just we didn't put them away. And, uh, you know, looking up front, it's those guys who should have been finishing this off. Uh, no, um, I just know that Ildrikis did play. We had virtually everyone out there. Krollis had a very, very uh, poor game. A poor game for some of the defenders as well. We'll ignore that, put it behind. Someone else gets to win the cup. That's great, and it's good for the reputation of the uh, good for their reputation, and um, hopefully it'll help their team improve and gets a little bit of cash for that, possibly. So we followed that up with a five-two victory over Tuckums. This was a bit of a crazy one. Um, Piver got himself a hat trick, uh, and Barris attack with a couple of goals himself. Uh, we did concede two goals from Tuckums. They hardly had a shot, but. Uh, we managed to let two of them into the back of the net. So it's been it's been all right in the league. We're still unbeaten. We've got four four games left in the league. One of those is against RFS. Two of them are against RFS. Great. Um, one of them is against Valmeria. So it's tough what we've got left. Um, as tough as it as tough as it could be. Um, what we are trying to do is finish over that hundred points mark and try and get seven goals uh we'll get a goal difference of plus seven in the next four games but given who we're up against that might be a little bit tricky um we need two wins out of that to get to 100 goals you can see Krollis is doing very well Erglis coming in there as well so that's that's pleasing okay folks i think i've stalled enough uh we've got a game against um Porto. I'm gonna let's uh, let's move towards that. Um, this is going to be hard, but wouldn't be awesome to get a result here. Okay, this is the team that we are going with. 
few little niggles in and around the team. For example, we have got um, Alderikis, who is not fully fit, had a little hamstring strain. Um, so he's not going to start, but I felt that maybe it's worthwhile having him on the bench that we can bring on maybe the last 10 minutes if we're just in need of a, a goal or something to um, just to waste a bit of time perhaps but the team is uh, we're going with Crollis and Piver up top those two are playing well together we've got Leo and Barris attack um, left and right Zadam is playing alongside Augustniak so having that ball winning midfielder in there Please with that. The back line is uh, Kostiovic, because he's our only left back. Samojis, uh, Stoichnovic, and Yauzems with Jikio in goal. Um, it's more or less the best lineup we could do, other than Ulderikis. Uh, and we've got options that we couldn't put on the bench. I think any of those players I'd be very happy to have on the bench. So it's, it's strong. Let's get in there, uh, see what we can come up with. It's going to be tough. Let's. First of all, look at uh, uh, Porto, see uh, see who they've they've got in their team. <laughs> Trevor Shalaba is that is that the Shalaba? Yes, it is. I didn't know he was from Sierra Leone. I thought he was English. Maybe his his nationality has changed. Aspella uh, Aspella is playing for them. Um, left back. Fernand Torres, Divock Origi up top. So they've got some decent players here. You look at the, what they're worth, and yeah. Yeah, lots and lots of money. I won't be making a bid for them. Goalkeeper Diego Costa worth £70 million. Pounds. Nice. Been there a while. Certainly come into his own in recent seasons. Yeah, we, yeah we, we, we wouldn't mind him. Julian Draxler as well. Didn't see him sitting in there. Really, really strong place. The squad just goes on and on and on. Bloody hell. I mean, do they need all those players? They're hogging them a little bit. Right then, folks. Well, I'm not expecting masses, uh, but it would be awesome to, I don't know, give, give this team... A bit of a game. I'm going to start off, I think, on balanced. I think that makes sense. I'm happy with this team. I'd like, I don't know whether Ulderikis would be a good move or Piva. I don't know which is the best move as things stand um, if if everyone was fully fit. But I haven't got that opportunity. I've got Urglis on the bench as well, who is a completely different style of player. Right, here we go. Let me know what you think. What's uh, what's it? What's what's the damage going to be? Are we going to get something out of this, or are we going to fail <laughs> yet again to uh, do anything against the, these big players? Well, we did have a shot on target, so that's a thing. Um, but we still. I don't know how to say that. That's a. I wouldn't expect Ferran Torres to score from that sort of dis distance, would you? With his head, no. Free kick. And just clips the bar. Uh, certainly Porto are having the better. We are having the odd shot here and there. Well, Zadam didn't find the pass. I thought we might get a highlight there. How? It's looking for a pass. We're keeping it tight, making them go outside. That's not a bad thing. Just don't want them to run through the middle of us. How? Again, playing it out the back. Shalaba now. So you're going to manage to put a decent boy. He's on a bit of a run. Aspilicueta. Oh, he's just beaten his man there. He's on a yellow card, actually. Fernan Torres. Is it going to be a shot? Oh, it's an interesting bit of play. Another ball in. And it's in. Goal from Ferran Torres. He does score with his head. And that, that wasn't very good. That wasn't very good at all. I mean, the problem is we've got Yazems who is looking absolutely shattered, but we have nobody who can come on there. And yeah, he just, uh, Kostovic, it was a bit of a mismatch at the far post, but here we go. Piva, kickoff highlight. Zadem into Krollis. Zadem 
He's uh, lost the ball straight off the kickoff. Come on, boys. Don't go 2-0 down. That would be annoying after, after such a good opening few minutes. Or opening half, really. It's 2-0. Two 2-0, nil. Two, nil, two minutes. And uh, where did that come from? Well, you know, they've had their chances. I can't deny that. But why have we been opened up twice that easily in, in, in two minutes? Okay. Well, you can see we, we've gone big and we've changed things up a fair amount. He should be playing as a target forward. Right. So we're going to be playing Kroos and Paiva, both as advanced forwards, with uh, uh, Ulderikis as a target forward there. Uh, we're going to be having a middle three of Zadam, Augustniak and Baris attack, playing as a Mitsala. We'll probably yeah, play um, Zadam as a Mitsala as well. And then the back, uh, the, uh, the back line, we've got players who there can... Um, run down the wings and maybe create some chances there but basically the reason i'm doing this is the wide players are doing zero so let's play through the middle and and try and do something like that the uh let's see if we can create some chances all well, is my hope is now he's on we're going to start okay i've just i just checked there about the uh the free kicks making sure old would be at the uh, the near post i think he can probably make a half but we've got three excellent players up top are we able to... Wow, that was unlucky. <laughs> Set Origi through with a with a brilliant um, tackle there. It's in. It's in. It's three. Or is that is that being allowed? Is that... Or not allowed? Disallowed? I think it should be disallowed. Go on. Disallow it. Dare you. Yeah. Okay. So you got a free kick. What is the goalkeeper doing? Kostovic is being dominated in the air by Ferran Torres. We haven't really got anyone else to bring on. <laughs> it's, 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 it's him or nobody. And and, and I, I I don't know at the minute. It feels like nobody might do a better good job of marking. So, uh, yeah. Torres has been everywhere. Okay, change coming up. Barris attack who has been next and useless. It's going off. Pantalev is on and we can't take Kostovic off but we're going to take one of the strikers off um, and we're going to take Piver off and Erglis is going to come on well Zadam <laughs> had it for a second that's a nice tackle Stojcevic and finally are we going to create something Aldrichis it's through it's Erglis Erglis <laughs> and Krollis gets it oh, Erglis should have that that seems very, very unfair that he doesn't. But we have scored against Porto. Lovely little move here. Aldrichis finds the right pass. And he Erglis is through. Makes a lovely shot. And uh, Krollis follows up nicely. I, I, if that was me, I'd have spooned it off into the crowd probably. So 3-1. Um, That's better. It's clear we are not we are not at this level yet. That is that is absolutely clear. Um, Kostovic he plays it up, but all of the strikers they just run back. Uh, we we need Aldrichis to be getting his head to it. Augustiak into Erglis. Well, his Aldrichis. Oh, he loses it. Come on, man. Use your strength. Oh, you don't have any. That's it. Strength of eight. So it's, it's yeah, it's, it's the uh, Latvian Peter Crouch. I'm pretty sure I said that before. Uh, as we go four one down. Yeah, we we aren't at this level. It's fun fun to be here, but we aren't at this level. I think we clearly have some work to do in the transfer window. We've got a bunch of money to try and do some things though, which is exciting. Obviously, we have to keep within the sort of rules of Latvian football, so um, that's a thing. Um, so there's, uh, we might have to look at certain players who are at the club who maybe we'll have to move on to if we go hope, hoping to improve them. But we've also got the wages to think about. And that's a problem because we can't afford the wages of the player players we need to improve the club. Uh, and the reason we can't afford the wages 
really. I mean, we can afford them, but the ground we've got is not sustainable for this level. And the reason the ground's not sustainable is because we don't actually draw any fans. If we're getting, still getting like less than 2,000 fans, even for the really big league games. So for this, we've probably got in several thousand, but yeah, it's it's uh, we're, we're a long way short of that level. Anyway, folks, yeah, it was a bit of a drubbing. I was hoping to give us a little bit more of a game there. We created chances, which is great. I think the right score line was reached, if you're being completely honest. I think we deserve to lose um, fairly comfortably. Um, just think, what would happen if we had a little bit more strength and depth at the back? That feels like the place we do need to improve because I think up top at the moment we're strong. We've got some good players up there. Midfield, we've got some good players, but it's at the back I really think we're weak. Anyway, folks, uh, we'll just move on and see what the other results were. I think we're pretty much out of this. We are going to come back for the last game of the league see, of, of the uh, of the season just to see how things ended in the um, in the Champions League, how how things ended in the league. But um, I think the only game we've got to hope of getting anything out of is the is the Leverkusen game at home. But I don't think that's going to be easy either. Um, so uh, yeah, not. I mean, it'd be cool to get something, but I'm not holding my breath, and it's just. The level is beyond what we are capable of at the minute. Anyway, folks, leave some comments down below. Let me know what, whether you agree with me um, in, in that the key area to improve is the back, the uh, the uh, all the way across the back. Actually, uh, we need left back, right back, and centre backs. So let me know whether you think that's the important areas to improve, or is there other areas in the team? What do you think of the? Um, using the three strikers is that something we could think about more commonly it does feel like we've got the players to do that in fact we've got we've more got the players to do that and we've got the players probably to play the formation we are at the minute so let me know about that but i hope you enjoyed the episode if you did hit the like button subscribe if you new, and i'll see you for the next game the final game of the season where we're going to get absolutely smashed by inter oh, i'm looking forward to it see you then bye bye